Bato sub. And I might go to a Vegeta sub as well. Yep. <laughs> oh my he one shot him. What in the world? Oh hell no. Look at this dude. Oh my god. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is D Free, and here today we're testing out Super Saiyan God Vegeta. This is the Zenkai 7 edition of Super Saiyan God Vegeta. By the way, he's almost completely soul boosted. Uh, I need to just basically get a couple more of these little bad boys, but this isn't going to really make a difference in the video. But regardless, though, we're going to test them out, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe, of course. Yes, we're also going to be doing, and you guys probably have already seen, my Zenkai 7 boosted Gogeta video. Check that one out. Link is down below because Gogeta is a monster in that video. He is really impressed. Speaking of impressive, I've already recorded the Vegeta matches, and Vegeta is actually pretty good too. I have very, very strong opinions on the Vegeta and how you need to be using him, in my opinion. Be sure to listen to those at the end of the video, literally after my last match. So be sure to listen through the video. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about him. Do you, what do you rate him? How good do you think he is? Just from my own opinion, like I said, it's at the end of the video, but just going to throw out there. I think Vegeta, he is a melee type character. Even though he has the cover in here, don't 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 get it mistaken, right? He is a melee character. He wants to be doing offensive things. So there's that. But I do like the way that they built him for the most part. He's kind of he has like some counterintuitiveness to his uh, a kit when he needs to enter with a higher threshold, but he also wants to cover change sometimes, right? But there are things like that that I really do like, uh, or I don't like that. But there are things in the kit otherwise that I do like uh, that make him pretty effective. I think so. I think he's pretty good in terms of him versus. Gogeta Blue. I think if you're somebody like me that has a low star Gogeta Blue, then sure, right? But if you have like even like if you're like if you're like Garesh, right? <laughs> the 40 star Gogeta? No, I don't think so. I think you're good with that dude. <laughs> if you're someone in, in the middle, like six maybe or something like that, seven. Still, I think you consider Gogeta better, um, but it just kind of depends, right? Maybe you also have this Vegeta on your bench for Gogeta to make him, again, even more explosive. So, I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel. He just came out. It's the beginning of the season as well, so we're not going to have the craziest matches, by the way. Uh, but he just came out, so I still need some more time to use that Vegeta. But so far, I, th I think he's pretty awesome. So, anyways, here we go. Starting things off with the first match, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so reverse is a fusion team. Interesting. Okay, I'll sub here. Nice. Hmm. Okay, a little lag there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue card here. Another sub. Okay, he gets the green card. He didn't go for it yet. I'll actually sub Vados here and go for her green. Sub count down, which is going to be huge for Vegeta. Vados works really well with the Vegeta because he wants to maintain a high HP threshold for his unique ability. And Vados obviously can heal a lot. Yeah, I, I saw that coming. Um, I, this gives me an opportunity to explain. Vados works really well. It's almost like the Vegeta was made to be ran with Vados. <clears throat> not, not really uh, literally, but because of the way that they synergize very well. Not just the, the healing, but also the supporting effects and stuff like that. Um, and uh, also on top of that, the green card is really, really good with Vados to help nullify some of the downside to cover changing with Vegeta at all. Where I think he gets plus five. Is it plus five or plus three? Whatever the count is, and we'll find out as we go, obviously. I think it's plus five. But she obviously can help reduce that a good amount. So he works really well there. And um, also, like, if you wanted to run, like, yellow, yellow, blue, he'd work really well with Champa too, to help reduce the sub count as well. It's just you start getting into less than optimal builds when you do fun things like that. <laughs> Emphasis on fun, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some videos on that stuff But he works really well with Vados and uh, hopefully you guys see that throughout the video. Let's go match number two Ooh, a red red green movies team. Okay, let's see how this one goes So for all intents and purposes Vegeta shouldn't be in this match at all just gonna throw that out there So when I get bodied that's gonna be what the heck what the heck where's my swipe? That's gonna be my excuse though. The Vegeta shouldn't be in the match in the first place Okay didn't really want to double switch, but I kind of had to. Honestly, I thought he was going to sub to Cooler. is why I say I'm ha I had to there. Oh, you finally gave me the swipe that time. Nice. You got me caught in a combo because you didn't give me the swipe the first time. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Good damage. Good drop, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but you shouldn't be in this match. <laughs> nice switch to Cooler, obviously, because Goku. I might still just sub to Goku, though. Oh, you're going to rush. Well, damn. <laughs> Not only am I at a disadvantage, he's going to rush. 
I got okay. All right, whatever. It is what it is. I mean, I don't blame him for rushing. I just didn't think he could rush that quickly. <laughs> Considering I have one freaking Dragon Ball. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a thing. He's not playing around. <clears throat> I messed that up. All right. Crit, nice. I'm probably gonna have to break out this dude's ult, to be honest. Just so I waste more time with Vados. Okay, I'm getting Dragon Balls, though, so that's good. One more card? Ah, okay. I assume he lets him take it, right? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Looks like he's getting crits, though, so that's nice. Okay. Nice. A sidestep. Great delay. I like that. You gonna drop here or blast? Nice. All right. Sub. Oh, cooler's coming in. Oh, cooler must not be back yet. Nice. My god, this dude is ripping my Vegeta to pieces, dude. I figured he'd drop again because he got me the drop earlier. <clears throat> I don't think he drops next time, though. Hopefully there is not a next time for the record. Okay, one of them's gone. Ah. I set up. Not bad damage, I guess, on Broly. We were able to heal a ton. I think I win this match now. It's starting to look that way. It's starting to lag a little bit, too. Hmm. Ooh, I might have the Vegeta cover. I'll blast here to try to get a vanish. I'll strike. <laughs> Is that game? I think that's game. I think I got him. <laughs> we made a nasty comeback in a game that we should not have won <laughs> oh man okay all right that was that was something man all right let's play another one i'm still like oh we won the last one man blue goku dominated that match and vegeta was good vados and blue goku were the reasons we won that one vegeta did what he needed to do i guess but it was mainly those two and the healing. I think I looked at one point and Vegeta was back to like max HP. It was just like, what in the world? All right, let's play another match here. This time, as you see, it's future. Here we go. Goku black lead, okay. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Excellent. Um, I'm going to sub here. He might actually go for the green, in which case that's good for me because I'll be able to read that. No? Okay. I'm just going to destroy it then. That should be your last card. Let's waste a little time to get Vegeta back. All right. Vegeta enters. Okay. I'll actually tackle here. Nice. That worked out. That works too. Thank you. <laughs> I'm all right with that. All right. So I almost have this back where I want it with uh, Vados and Vegeta. Oh, good patience on that one. That was a really good play. Vados sub. And I might go to a Vegeta sub as well. Like, he one-shot him. What in the world? Oh, hell no. Look at this dude. Oh, my God. What happened here? <laughs> uh, what in the... Uh, what is happening? <laughs> he just, just, just decided to explode with damage, man. What in the world? 
<laughs> he just decided to just end the match, dude. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm going to get caught here, huh? Yeah, I was back dashing. I knew I should have sidestepped. Oh, my God. He just decided to end the match. <laughs> oh, no. He said this is over. Oh, what he died, bro. <laughs> he just one shot Goku Black like it was nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. What the heck? Use my freaking blast. Why are you lagging all of a sudden? Stop. <laughs> All right, well, Vegeta's going to get the finishing attack, I guess. I'll actually let him hit me. Hopefully, he goes for a strike. Drop? Okay, there's one strike. I know you have more. Show me another one. Yeah. Yeah. Man, don't you wish you were Gogeta Blue, Vegito? You would have been able to nullify that easy. No problem. Taps did a lot of damage. All right. Well, that was something, dude. That was crazy, man. Lo and behold, reverses future twice in a row. I don't run into future very often, so this is actually pretty surprising. Oh, he didn't size up at all. Nice. All right. So right now, Vegeta entered without obviously having access to his ability. I'm going to sub to Goku here. Okay, I'll use Vados as green, so it's not as bad. What is that? Is that the late? Okay, it's a tap punch. It was a little delayed. I couldn't tell if that was lag or if he did that intentionally. Tackle? Or I'm actually at long range now. Yeah, there was no tackle there. What the? Please register my tap punches next time. Thanks. Yeah, he's he's actually decently unimpressive if he doesn't enter with that um strike. It just makes too big of a difference. Vegeta sub? No. Okay. It just makes too big of a difference. Okay. You have to you have to bring him in when he has a higher HP threshold. I mean, you don't have to, but if you don't, he's like half as good. Really, like half as good. Let's see if we can bait that out. Okay. Nice. He didn't sidestep whatsoever. Uh, let's. I'm going to be at a higher HP threshold here. Like I said, him and Vados is just amazing. So here we go. Even popped the main. Oh my goodness. Vegeta sub? Or uh, Cell sub, excuse me. We're going to go for this blue as well. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, okay. That's something. back he just sized up again I'll go for another blast here nice read okay I'll actually enter right I'll actually go for Goku's card Ooh, I will not go for Goku's card I'm gonna waste that I want the Vegeta card freaking lagged for a half second don't lag like that please look at that explosion of damage if he can enter with the card also, like, main ability, Goku buffs, and, like, all these different things are factors. Like, Vado switches have been accumulating. The Goku... Okay. That's done. The Goku, uh, when he uses cards, he buffs allies. Like, all these things accumulate, right? But if he can enter with a higher threshold, he's in a supremely dominant position. So, it's just, it's, it's just that it's kind of wonky because he wants to also... I think you, you have to look at the cover change as... Um, and this is this is how this Vegeta's always played. They didn't really change his playstyle very much, uh, but I think you have to look at the cover change as like a, as like a, you know just the cherry on top. Like it's not something you should actively be seeking, I guess. If you use him as an offensive pivot, almost similar to like SS3 Goku, he can actually approximate a lot of what LF uh, not LF excuse me ha <laughs> ha maybe one day Rai. Anyways, uh, <laughs> no, he can actually approximate a lot of what the purple SS3 Goku can do, entering with that strike and just exploding with damage. And he has his own healing properties as well, which will help him. I, I mean, in this video, he maintained a very high HP threshold for the most part anyway. Um, but if you use him that way, it's a little different. And if you need to, the knockback is really good. And it's also especially good because it is one of the few knockbacks or covers or things like that that works against strikes and blasts, right? So it works out pretty well if you need to do that as well. So he's interesting. I think you have to kind of maybe change your opinion on how you play with him. 
You can't just be seeking that cover change very often. In fact, they almost dissuade you from doing it because of his play style. It's counterintuitive to do it, uh, to throw him out there and have him immediately take that damage. And then on top of that, though, it gives him such a negative feedback of uh, plus five or so sub count. And uh, yeah, it's not super great, but again, it's, it's if you need it, right? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, subscribe for more content. Like I said, we have more videos. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen the Zenkai 7 Gogeta video, check it out. Link is down below. Have an awesome day, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.